So the question I had is, can you use this LilyPut monitor to pull focus on your Canon 7D? Well, let's find out. So this is the eight inch LilyPut monitor. It's got HDMI inputs on the back and I have Velcro to the back, a 12 volt battery to power the monitor. This is a 6.4 amp hour battery. You can pick them up on eBay for between 20 and $30. You can get them with a hard case or just the batteries with a switch. For the price, it's worth it to spend a little bit extra and get the convenient switch that's located on top. I've got my Lilliput monitor hanging off of a magic arm with an HDMI cable going from back of the Lilliput to my Canon 7D. Using the focus gear on this lens, it's pretty easy to see what's in focus and what's out of focus. The Canon 7D doesn't change resolution when you go from preview to record mode, so you pretty much get the whole screen to pull focus. But remember, the 5D Mark II goes from a 16-9 aspect ratio to a 4-3 aspect ratio when you press record, which means you don't have quite as much of the Lilliput screen to pull focus. This might not work as good for pulling focus on the 5D as it does on the 7D. The Lilliput monitor has a resolution of 800 by 600, so it's not quite true HD. The Lilliput monitor doesn't have quite as accurate a color representation as some of its bigger brothers, but for a $200 field monitor, it does a great job. With the 6.4 amp hour battery on the back of the Lilliput monitor, I'm able to get about four to four and a half hours of operation. So with two of these batteries, you should be able to go an entire day of shooting without running out of battery power for your monitor. The Lilliput monitor has a resolution of 800 by 600, so it's not quite 1080p but it's good enough to pull focus and it's a great reference monitor for the Canon 7D, especially since you don't have to look in the back of the camera, you can point it at any angle you're looking for. All things considered, I'd say the Lilliput monitor is a great option for an affordable field monitor. Works great with the Canon 7D. I also tested it on my HFS 100 and it worked great. I don't see any reason to spend twice as much money on an iCan or some of the other field monitors that are available when you can pick this up for under $200. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.